Oh, say that one, only. Only the, str only the strong stay for the second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can start. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> No, no, I mean, this is absolutely normal. Yeah, thank God. Okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now, 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 I can, now I can arbitrarily see, right? <laughs> yeah, keep yeah, this, we, let's keep this. this okay, now you can hit us hard. Yeah. Now, okay, now let's look at that with the simple, simple stuff. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, that's one nice. I, I think you can directly prove this guy as someone because it's, it's a dealing group. I a dealing group. Yeah, you're going to kind of see what the inverse yeah. should be. Okay, now, what I do using this, I want to do that in common right? So, now, the first thing to do was very pumpkin. Because very pumpkin is just really a linear commission of this, and then so this I think. Maybe random market is heard about this one before. Right? So, you know, still, remember I fixed the x in a scheme, embedded into M smooth. Okay? Now, you take the normal. Of x in the M. So by definition, this is vector sum i equal to zero to infinity i i over i i plus one. Right? So this is a greedy uh, OX module. This one. And take a spectrum. So here i you can you can use i x but I use i equal to i x is the shift ideal shift of x in i. So this is a normal code, okay? And then we let pi c to x is the projection. Because x is the vertex. So of course, because x, if x is smooth, of course this is nothing but a normal bound. Because x is not smooth, if x is smooth, there's a regular embedding, this is a normal bound. No? And then in general, this one is single, because a lot of components are irreducible. So, and then we define the, another define definition. Define an integrable cycle inside this one. So, C, I call Cx, small Cx. By definition, is the following formal stuff. Formal, a uh, finite sum. You count all the irreducible component of the normal C. Ci is one irreducible component. Then plus a sign here, and then times the multiplicity of Ci at the generic point of Ci, and then times the cycle pi is one. Okay? Look, Ci irreducible component, then you take a projective projection to the base x, you get an irreducible closed separating in x. So this one is a prime cycle. So this finite sum is still a cycle, right? Linear combination. So you think that this is a CR, then you have a lot of finite numbers. This one belongs to this group, integrable cycles. I don't write up, I don't need to write up because this CI is a irreducible, you count all the irreducible components because of the scheme finite type, of course this one has only finite. And this is the multiplicity, and this is the Now, the better function is actually defined defined by the whole abstraction of this one. So really, the parent function is a linear combination of all of structures, determined by the normal of x, if you have a global embedding. Uh, 
So in general, this is true for any dilemma stack. In the dilemma for stack case, you don't have a global embedding, right? You don't need, you don't have a general, uh, like uh, it, yeah, where, here. But it, you have local. You can locally define this, then go. So I write down this one here. So I replace it here. I, I will use later, maybe. Maybe I'll write down later. Okay. So now, we, let's calculate. Uh, do we calculate the example? Let's calculate the very different example. So So now, if I do some local calculation, I x my scheme x is the following scheme. This would belong to a squared, right? The idea is given by x squared, x y. Why I did this? Because I, I use later. Because x, x squared, x y is really uh, an x squared y, you know, if f is this, defined on a2, right? So the df is, is what? It's 2xy dx plus x squared dy, right? So this x is really the critical of f. Okay. So now uh, let's calculate the normal cone. So c in this case is c x over a, a square. If you can calculate, but this one you can do directly by hand is x y. Because you have uh, two generators, we put another generator w zero w y w one, and have some ideals x y x square, and then some other ideals x w zero minus. <clears throat> this is the normal cone. This normal cone has two components, irreducible. <clears throat> so you, you can actually calculate. C1 is uh, spectrum C y w 0 And C2 is actually spectrum C w 0 w one They all are isomorphic to a squared. And the here, C2, I, I can reduce one. This one, the general C2 has a multiplicity 2. So that in this case, you can write down the better function is actually minus 1 power 1, all our obstruction of a lot. This line corresponds to the 1, right? You project the 1, right? Look, look, look at this y. What this y looks like? This y is. Uh, if x equal to zero, then that then, then that's a line y, right? Y. And then y is zero, then because you have a fat point. Then this is the y. Single. This y. It's a line with fat point. This x. So that then this one plus minus one power zero times two times multiplicity times e u. The projection, this one, look, the W0, W1, or in the fiber dimension, then project as the origin, P. This is also moves, right? Look at this one, one. this also moves, also one. This is the identity of The identity this is an example. Okay? And then, in this case, you, of course, you will have the weighted or black, uh, weighted or black heuristic weighted by the bearing function of this one. So the bearing function is this, of course, is an integer value constructible function on x, right? On x. So now, what do we do with this, right? So now we talk a little bit about uh, uh, Can I erase this example? Oh, I'm sorry. So now I do the symmetric obstruction theory. I introduce a little bit. Okay. What's symmetric obstruction theory? We should have two balls here and then here. <laughs> <laughs>
I achieved it too. It was roughly it was symmetrical structure secret. Okay, very good. Okay. Well, let's do a simple case, but I don't want to do the general. So now a uh, general, I don't, of course, I can write down, you know, I want just do the uh, uh, easier case. So now, I do the construction is, I let x equal to z dl. For f is a regular function on i and this. Let's do this simple case. In general, what's this true then? Suppose that scheme is a critical locus of a function on M, M is smooth. Then in this case, I can write down the symmetry of such theory as this. E x dot is the following. This two term complex. And also in this case, the cotangent complex is truncated. OK, I just write down truncated. Is this identity? So this is a different D, right? And the I is the ideal shape of X and M, right? This is a truncated, um, you know, this is a truncated cotangent complex. In, in general, cotangent complex has an infinite term, right? I don't know how many, but, but all minus degree, right? And then, so, so that this uh, cotangent complex gives you a resolution of the cotangent bundle of the x. So here, this of the co kernel will be the cotangent bundle. Then, this will be what? This will be, um, I write out df2. Because look, df, f is a function, then df gives you a, a section of omega m, all right? Because the differential. And then you take a 2 that goes to the ideal shape. But then you take df2, go to the 2 of this one, to the O M. OM that goes to the ideal shape of x. And that's why I don't And then this one will be the first this and then this. So then, in the derived category, I, I mean, if everything this this complex is a derived object, only two term, okay? And then the two term are satisfied. You know, here's the identity, right? You, if you you calculate cohomology, like this two term, you calculate, you you think that the degree now I fix, you think the degree of here is uh, this minus one this here, okay? And then this will introduce, of course, this is true, h minus one is subjective. You see that this map is five. Okay, you remember that. That h zero five is an isomorphism. So this is the requirement of the perfect obstruction. So in general, you can think uh, a perfect obstruction theory is a uh, two-term complex, or this is a derived object with amplitude minus one zero, and then to the truncated cotangent complex. And so that h minus one by is subjective and then h zero by is maximum. This is a very kind of But here, so why I call this symmetrical? What does it mean? It means, look, if I do the calculation here, I do, in this case, if you have this perfect obstruction, the obstruction shift OBX by definition is h1 of EX2 of this one too. So this one do look. This one do uh, you know? Uh, this one do you you if you, you two, take a do you still get this one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Each one do this one still get this one. So this one in in, in some sense is isomorphic to h zero e x. Yeah. 
how does the, the grading go? So oh, you, yeah. You fix the zero and then... Yeah, the, you take a two of this one. Yeah. Will be will be still, you know, this one to this one, right? Right. But what is the... But we will have the zero, zero in this one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So this kind of some... So, you know, this complex, yeah, I drew right on that. I, I read this, okay. So now, this, this two-term complex map satisfies this property, actually. So this one satisfies what? Satisfy, um, you have a non degenerate the form is EX actually isomorphic to EX two shifted by one. So this, this, this one. This, the symmetric property. If you have a two-term complex, two-term condition complex, then set by these two conditions, and then furthermore, set by this condition, we call a symmetric perfect obstruction. So look, this is exactly like this, right? Look, this one like this. You shift it, like a brindle as I shift it. Yes, still like this. But here, zero, one. I shift it by one. If you go back right to the minor material, so that means the same as this. Both is isomorphic. This is called symmetric. If symmetric, that's why. If symmetric is true, then this is H1 EX2 by 1, right? This is. And then this is this. And why? Because this is H0 here. H0 means the same as H0 this. H0 this because the cotangent complex in the resolution of the cotangent sheet of X. So, in this case, in a symmetric obstruction theory case, the obstruction chief of the modular space X, in general, X is the modular space, is the cotangent chief. It's only true for symmetric, it, it not, not true in general. Of course, in, in most of the Gumundan theory, that's not true, right? Because Gumundan theory modulus is not symmetric. Okay, <clears throat> this is only true uh, right now for the Okay, now this, uh, once this is true, and I will write down the, the I erase all the condition, we know that. Then I will write down some diagram from this symmetric construction theory to get the virtual functional cycle. Okay. So what's the virtual functional cycle construction is this? Is first, you have a uh, Mm. I, I just write down the field. <laughs> now, from this we get C, I write down C, 2, C gamma M, O, X. And this one, 2, omega X, this is the obstruction chief. Remember, this is equal to H1, EX2. And then, this one, oh, maybe I, I should write on more, and then maybe we will see clearer. So this one first goes to, uh, goes to here, goes to sigma m is due to x modular t m. <coughs> okay, what is called this? This is really a preparedness definition. H1 over H0 EX2. Okay? It's the bundle step. Look, this vector bundle is a map, go to this vector bundle. You think this vector bundle adds on this vector bundle through this map. Then I take the formal quotient step by the vector bundle by vector bundle. Very ugly step. But this is the ugly step. We don't use the theory there, we only use, you know, we just use a notation, a, a definition. And then this the post modular, of course you take commodity, right? This is the this. Sorry. I, I zoned out for a second. Mm -hmm. So the cone No, not the cone. First uh, first I only on here, on the above. Yeah, yeah. Complex. I take you shift. And no, you take a two. Okay. You take a two and still this, right? Yeah. And then I take quotient. Yeah, I understand. But where's the map from the cone to the cone? 
by tangent. No, this is the no, this is the cosmodulized piece. Normal cone is naturally safe. No, no, I haven't talked about that. No, no, no. I, I will tell you. Let's forget about this first. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. First, the this this is okay, right? Yeah, that part I'm okay with. Okay. Now, now I do this. Now I do this. The intrinsic normal cone. I I write down. Is this intrinsic normal cone? Is this? You add me notation. Right. So in this spread of case, the increase normal form of Baron attacking is really a cone stack of the normal form acted by the Baron. Yeah, okay. I thought the normal cone was in the was in the tangent bundle. So the first horizontal arrow is the one I'm not understanding. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I thought the cone of X and M was in uh, TM over X. Yeah, yeah. Let, 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 let's go uh, hard. Let, let's so so uh, look. Um, first. Sorry, so you, you, you define like the cone C as the spec of I mod I squared. Yeah, yeah. So I, that, that's the conormal cone, right? No, that's a normal. The normal cone. Okay. I, will, I will tell you why. Look. Okay. It, this is the Yeah. You, you think of the construction. Spec term. This is adjective. Of course, yeah. the, you think spec of this will go to me. So I, I guess I would just... You take a spectrum of this. Spectrum of this is a Gohanian model, right? Okay, but... Spectrum of the tangent sheet, tangent bundle, is the total tangent bundle. It's the total space of the total tangent yeah. So through this, you, you easy to see this one. Then the tangent bundle X, Preserve the normal cone. That's why this is the increase normal cone. This 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 other thing the covariance thing. But of course, in general here is not a tangent. That's why this special is metric. In general, this is not tangent, right? In general, like uh, every obstruction here locally is a zero locus of vector bundle, a section of vector bundle. All right. So here will be that vector bundle, no mm -hmm. Only here that's a tangent. Right? Oh yeah, I can show you. Uh, forget about. It. So I use red right one. I do. So every obstruction is perfect obstruction is locally always this. Yeah, I I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Right? Yes. Right? Yes. And then the obstruction theory is locally like this. So this one. That goes to L O S squared. Right? Uh -huh. Then here is S2. Uh -huh. So in general you will have the normal cone embedded to the spectrum E star as E. So that means the normal cone is a sub cone inside the vector bundle. Yeah. Okay. This. But only here, this E is the cotangent bundle. That's why here is the tangent. The do is tangent. All right. Yeah, yeah. Because locally, I require x is a critical locus of uh, critical locus. Of course, this uh, this will be this. S is BF. This is true. This is true. Yeah, you are right. I mean, the the, the normal cone is is really is embedded to tangent bundle, right? But here is really also cotangent. This is metric. This is a UCC. I don't know if you have time to I know. I see. Hmm? still don't see the action it's on the time. We're really using the function there. It's the not, tangent not x through this map. The action on the cone. Oh, the action on the cone. Yeah. 
you will need to program it a little bit. Um, or basically, I mean, why the cone is preserved. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm positive. That's but, that. But, uh, okay, that one I think is coming from some, you know, functional identity, you know, I forget the, the construction of the uh, uh, I also cannot see from this diagram. Okay. 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 Right? But, you know, maybe, maybe we can just agree with that. This is from other, you know, I remember this uh, does not depend on the embedding to M, you can embed to N, then that's Oh, yeah, of course. You, we can believe this. This in general, you know, this one has an argument in very bad entries on, on paper. Why this normal tone? This locally always like this. Why this one is naturally embedded? And then here, the tone C will be the fiber product. But only in this case, in this case, only in, 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 in what I said, this case. S is a pretty low function. Yeah. So this is the normal. Yeah, yeah. But in, in general, this is not. Okay? Right, right, right. In general, of course, this is not. Especially in this case, in the Bumuita uh, case, locally it's a vector model, you have the leave the cone C inside, i.e., the cone C, of course, not normal. Okay. It's not normal. It's another one. But here it's normal. In this uh, special case. Okay. Okay. It's only true for this case, okay? If you lose something, that's not true. Even for invariant uh, original definition, because he required x is not a pretty locus of DF, it's only a locus, a locus a, a almost close to one form. But I, then I don't think that's the case at all. Maybe locus, yes, because he proved it. Sorry, what's that bottom row that you wrote there? Oh yeah, this one you maybe you don't need. This is the cosmodular of uh, Etris normal. Cone. Oh, because Etris normal cone, uh, he called Etris normal cone. Etris normal cone is a cone stack. Yeah, it's, it's an artin stack. It's the question there. Yeah, uh -huh. this is the cosmodular. Okay. Here is yeah. Here is very. Here is very. Because each time, each time when I uh, was in Imperial, I talked to this one to the uh, Richard, right? to Richard Thomas. He just, he just uh, didn't like this, you know, because he didn't like artist. He only, you know, care about him. If you have the leaf, the home inside yeah. the back of the bundle, then you can do intersection. Right. Then that's all. That's all. That's done, right? Then you know, we only do this. I mean, this. In this case, the word from the class of X will be. Right? Yeah. This is also a decent method. This is from a lower star of omega m, which is due to x, then to a lower star x. But this cone c goes to this, the image of this decent method. The decent method is this. this. This is the way it comes. It's dimension zero because, because yeah, the central we play is the bearing. So this, in this case, the first thing, Cxm is Lagrangian in omega i. Because here, look, this one, this one, of course, in this one, right? Then this is easy to see, because in this case, I really think, oh, this x is a uh, Critical locus of a regular function, right? right? And then the normal cone is what? The log each component, you can see in the normal is a graph closure of the function of cos. It's a graph. It's of cos in a graph. Yeah. But yeah. in in Barron's paper, my local geometry that paper, because he required x given by the almost closed y form, the zero locus 
of an almost closed waffle. And then, in that case, he needs to add Y, this, this cone C, remember, when you lift his lava line inside the holding line. That's essential. That be, that's why he, he takes you know, four pages to prove that's a lava line. If the X, even locally, his, his modular X is a greater local of a closed waffle, because closed waffle locally exact, is given by DF, right? right? He does not need to prove because it's automatically Lagrange. Because there's a graph of function called Lagrange. So then. So do you need this more technical result for Donaldson Thomas? Or? No. You don't need this. Donaldson Thomas, the definition is this. Right? So Donaldson Thomas' definition is this. Right? You can apply this to the modular stable chief on Clavier Cerebral or per data on the protective threefold, you won't get symmetrical uncertainty. On Clavier, you will have this symmetry. This is the region thesis, right? Sorry, sorry, what's F in that case? Oh, there's no F. I only require locally like this. Uh, yeah, what's F? Another story. If you apply this one to the Donaldson Thomas theory, um, so suppose X is the modular space of stable. Chiefs, coherent chiefs, or simple chiefs, okay? In a clavier cerebral, smooth one, okay? We speak some topological data. Then, this x locally is this. Local, always local. Always true local, not global. So this is this is reason because Baron wants to prove this result because he proved using L infinity algebra, but draw, this is a Joyce sequence This is a Joyce group. Result. Okay. Okay. Thank you. They use they use the right geometry to do this. Okay. Use minus minus one to the same place structure. I I just do a simple case, right? I do locally. The global you will look. Okay, sure. I'm I'm happy now. Thank you. Yeah. So now, if this is true, and then now we, we come back to here, right? Now I come back to here. I replace this z by uh, c x, right? I write down at the beginning. Then here e u c x. So this is not. Nothing but the bare boundary, right? Uh, and then you apply this. Apply this, this is actually in this special case. Uh -huh. And then you do this. Then you replace here by CX. Then you replace here by new X. Then you replace it by this. Right? Yeah. yeah. Sure. And then, this is I know from this. So this, if I X proper, this Donaldson and Thomas theory, the environment. So this is very zero. Okay. This is micro local data. So only after this key theorem, right now, when people define your mind, they use this. Right? Especially you have a even even in some cases they forget about the symmetry of a, of a certain theory anymore. You just use this. You know, because if it's proper, then this is true. If it's non-proper, then you cannot um, do this, right? This does not make sense. And then you can use this to define it. If it's not proper, then this makes sense. Especially if, uh, if the modular space X coming from the quiver moduli is not proper, then you can use very much. That's why I, I think right now, Jim always calculates very much, right? 
in brand. <laughs> Look, he has yeah. right now. He said he maybe he has more tools to calculate very probably. <laughs> I haven't seen the uh, you know number still minus one or positive one. <laughs> Something like that. Because very function is very difficult to calculate. Even positive one or minus one is interesting. That's how it is. <clears throat> So now, what I did a little bit for this one is the following. Okay, ask one more question. Uh huh. Sorry. So, when you when you say it now, I mean, the the equality that zero upper shriek of the cone no. is equal to the integral. That's the definition, right? I uh, no. The that last equality. Zero shriek of this one yeah. is the word fundamental class. Yeah. The number of that is the integration of course. This is the same, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when I write out this, means this, right? Means yes. the number of yes. pods inside. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's by definition. Yeah. And so, so this, this the, what was the hard part of Baron's theorem? The hard, hard part of Baron's theorem is actually, he, in his paper, he proved this, this one in general, not in this case. He proved this one is not wrong. Once he can prove his obstruction, this is called obstruction proof. Once he proved the obstruction cone is Lagrangian, everything is a problem known here. Because Kashiwara, Shapira, or Ginsburg already proved this. Kai's contribution is he realized that that one. And he, his stuff, right? He, he, the, his obstruction theory stuff relate to the this micro-local geometry. Uh -huh. But if you're on this picture and you take, uh, oh, I see. So, so is, it the really, hard, is the hard part that top arrow? Uh, this one. That red arrow, yeah. No, this one is very okay to define. This one already defined in Ginsburg. I know it's defined, but to show that that CX goes to the cone. Oh, this one, once you prove this Lagrangian of a certain cone, this is obvious. Because this is isomorphic. Yeah, but so the thing that's not obvious to begin with is yeah, that you start, you right, you you start right. with CX, the cycle. Uh huh. Sure. Be because remember, CX is only a combination of minus one power something yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, the multiplicity that I call AI, that e, this, this DI, right? You know, of course, once you prove here is a Lagrangian, then this one must form this one. Okay. okay. That, that, that's the essential part is to prove obstruction cone is Lagrangian. If you prove Lagrangian is Lagrangian, then you, when you go to locally, then it's always coming from this, coming from the canonical bound. Yeah, so this uh, you can apply to DT. This is a DT series now. So in a, in a definition of Thomas and Thomas, the original de definition is Richard Thomas. He just uh, used obstruction theory, right? Very for like, you know, okay. from 10, BTN, yeah. right? To argue this one. Only argue this one on the modular state machine from X. On Calabria theory, for example. And then he get a virtual cycle, and then he get, you know, the environment. That's, that's his thesis. And then only after, because MLOP contacted, right? And then Kai realized this is what we need to find. Yeah. Because he can use this bare function to prove some contact <laughs> in the MLOP contact. Okay. So now, and then, then later on, we, I realized um, to, let's, maybe I can erase, I will erase this one, maybe, because this one. If we need, then we can rewrite that. So now I do a piece is this. Look. This one maybe uh, you guys will be, be a little bit interested because I use cosection. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? <laughs> cosection. So now I do this in the simple easy case. Not simple, but easy case. 
can go away. Okay. I use, I do this, look. I fix a scheme X. This scheme leads really to scheme B. And, and the parent. But can can we use cross-section people? Yeah, yeah. X is a scheme or modular scheme. With symmetric obstruction symmetry. Okay. I I fix the sister action. Here sister action. On the scheme X. Of course the first one is a little problem. If the scheme admits a sister action, then we have the all characteristic uh, the weighted over accuracy by the bearing function with new x is actually calculated by the fixed quantities. Like the general, right? Like the general. Localization. Localized, Localization. Localized yeah. micro local. Yeah, change. something like that. <laughs> Why is this true? Because the barrier function on the C star orbit is constant. Mm -hmm. Because C star polar grid is zero. Right? So now, uh, this, this is the first result. Then I need to. Uh, I, then I will argue the fixed form of this, right? And then remark, I require, we require that f is convex. Okay, otherwise uh, you, you, you don't require everything non convex you cannot do anything, right? So f is convex. Even x is not, but the fixed form of this is convex. Okay. So now, Kim Lee, what's Kim Lee? I think now Marcus, what's Kim Lee? Kim Lee is this. If I have this C star action, then I will get on X a vector field. Right? And I don't use new because you know a very function. I just use weight. It's a vector field. What's this vector field? Is at small x goes to d over d lambda m lambda x. So lambda is the parameter of C star. Means you have the sister action, you take the derivative, you get the vector field, right? On x. Yeah. And then I take, so this one be the vector field. Associate with the sister action. Okay. So the zero locus. of the vector field is f, right? Of course, it's a fi fixed locus, right? When you hear fixed, then you get zero. It's easy to see. Now, how can I take the cosector? I mean, I erase this, I can rewrite it. So now, the cosection is, I take the two of this vector field. I take the two of this vector field, I will get a sigma from the omega x to the structure, right? This co cosection. Why? What's cosection? Kim Lee means from the obstruction shift to, co to the obstruction. So because this is symmetric of obstruction theory, this is essential, right? Because omega x is the obstruction. We just if X has a symmetry of a shift, then yes. the obstruction shift is a cotangent shift. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. Okay, in this case, I will get the Kim Lee's construction, the de de degenerate locus. It's actually F, right? It's easy to see. It's a fixed one. It's the locus of zero. Yeah. 
Then, what's Kim Lee's construction? Now, Mark is familiar. Consider. Still, I write down the cones, the normal cone in this local case. It's This is the obstruction is here to the cone. Plus, if this uh, cross section, right, then this is here, then this to the within the cross module of the this normal cone, and then I I can shorten the notation because I'm going to write down I let the e to the this. Then you will have Kim Lee's construction is that e sigma equals to e is this this vector bound restrict to f to the degenerate locus right degenerate locus and then you need the kernel of sigma restrict to u where u is what where u is the complement of f okay. yeah it's a complement of the degenerate locus the degenerate And then Kimberly construct this proposition. Kimberly construct this cone, this is what I call C, obstruction cone. This obstruction cone actually belongs to this. Right? This Kimberly is resolved in their paper. Gems. Mm -hmm. And that means once you will have the cool section, this uh, obstruction cone must belong to the curve okay. of the cool section. Right? And then the theorem is that. He, he defined kind of called localized adjacent map. I don't want to talk about that. But yeah, you know that, right? Yeah. That means means what? Means the, the, the virtual cycle localized to the degenerate locus. Degenerate. So I call uh, this notation as S three E sigma K L C equals to the the Kimberly localized you run what was that? Survive so on F goes to A zero. Right? This is the virtual cycle. This completely construction. Now, I don't know if this use. I hope this use. I haven't used. Them. Anyway, my theorem is that this is true. Because this is a zero time. This is the event. So now, theorem is if x is proper, so this is true. This is, I don't need to prove. This is my. This is true. This one. Uh, I don't want. You, you, so is that the same f vert that you just defined here? Yes, that's that's the one. Yeah, because x is proper. This is true, right? Because this. Is, right, x proper, x projective. Yes. This is true, this is Kim Lee result. And then this is Kai, right? <laughs> and then the Foucault is that. Right? So my essential point is my theorem makes sense is x is non proper. Uh. Modulus is non proper. So that you cannot do this. This does not make sense, right? Right? But you still, if you have a system action, you still can use virtual cycle to calculate with your characteristics. That's my point. 
Sorry, what, what's the upper left hand side? Which one? Uh, uh, no, down. Yeah, this one? The, no, the integral over x first. This one. Sorry, down. Oh, the, I refer to no, 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 not that one. x vert. Below the word proper. Oh, this one? Yeah. Sorry. So this is x vert 1. What, which no. virtual class, though? You know, I fix x with a symmetric obstructing zero. Of course, the, oh, the original. Original work has dimension zero. Uh -huh. Because s proper, you can do integration. Yeah. Even you do localize, this the same. This is Kim Lee. Means yeah. what's Kim Lee mean, right? Kim Lee means uh, I have a modular space. I have a virtual side, right? Yeah. If if you have a cosector, right? Yeah. Yeah. My virtual cycle can be localized to the degenerate locus. Uh -huh. This uh -huh. cycle you can live there, you can live here. They are equivalent, <laughs> uh -huh. right? So, so Kim Lee gives you a cycle on yes. that. Yes. Essentially, mean if this one proper, you can do, no matter the cycle where you live in X, you can do integration, uh -huh. because that's a problem. Yeah. If X non proper, you cannot do that. But if F proper, you localize to F, but in that way, you could take integration on F, because F proper. Then this makes sense. So that's my I prove. Even X non proper, this is still true. As long as F is proper. No, X, X is non proper. No, but yeah, yeah, F, F is compact. Yeah. So if, X, is still if X compact is true, it's already known yeah. from Kim Lee and the kind. If X non compact, that's my zero. That means if the modular space is non compact, you probably still can use this to yeah, calculate yeah. the bearing function. Yeah. yeah. Because bearing function is difficult to calculate. This one, in some sense, is easier. Why? Because here, you still can use the localization. Uh, you, you, uh, you know the Chang, yeah, Kim, yeah, yeah. and Lee wrote a paper recently yeah, yeah. called the localization of a conception of localization. Right. You, know, you can still use localization on this. <laughs> yeah, that's why. But, but I haven't found the useful part, but, but this was a result. Yeah, it's true. So is your, is your paper called? Localization of cosection localization in microlocal geometry. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I wrote a small note for the note on microposon local order structure. Small paper. So this one is this idea is actually motivated by uh, by uh, my work with Richard. Uh -huh. In that case, we do the difference. We call the virtual sign or characteristic. Virtual sign. Or characteristic. In their case, we do the difference. We do what? We do this. We assume M is a modular space with obstructing theory, not, not a symmetry. Okay? Yeah. With symmetrical, uh, with obstructing theory. Perfect. Uh -huh. Not symmetric. That means the water cycle may be high dimension. Yeah. And then what? On the OB2. For this, the obstruction shift two. Yeah. This is a total space I call n. Uh -huh. On n, there exists a symmetric obstruction. Uh -huh. So that you will have pairs with the characteristic. Uh -huh. Right. And also in this case you have cosection. Kimli. Why? Because this is a cone. Yeah. This is the obstruction shift. Total space of obstruction shift 2 means you take the obstruction shift is a coherent shift, right? You take the spectrum of the, you know, the symmetry algebra of that. You get the total space of this. And then this one equal to our theorem with Richard said. Uh, n localized to n. Because on n, n is a cone, you have a cis action scaling the fiber. Uh -huh. And then not nothing. Not similar to this, but then in that is really a cone scaling the fiber. Yeah. Then the degenerate locus is the base. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So here the, the Kim Lee is here. We put this. We put this. This with Richard. Okay. Of course, Richard's idea. I, I think that he, he found something from Cotagen theory or something. Uh, in his mind, he has a lot of other theory. Recently, I found just this uh, April or May, I forget, 
he used this one to define the so-called walkability. With Nada Tanaka, with the Japanese guy. Two papers. Use this. The Wafa Vision Uran is for surface and the local surface. It's really, the local surface, really, some local surface stuff go into the, you know, the original the uh, Wafa Vision Uran prediction from Wafa Vision 1994 paper, right? It's for particular surface. It's some formulas. So modularity property of the generative function. But uh, Richard really he found that the he take a local surface, go to the calculator circle, open. And then he do some calculation here. Because this one, this picture only go to one component of the area, right? And then they calculate some, they said, oh really this is a one of <laughs> really the threefold there three exists some threefold contribution to the one not only the surface, some from the fiber, from the skin along the fiber. So this is uh, the story. And then uh, this one I uh, motivated by uh, this work, but I, I realized, oh, you, you can do this, then why you do not do this? And then I, I, I wrote down by myself. I talked to Hokai a little bit before that. <laughs> and then all this story, right now this all look at the event and the fire function, and Stuff. Really, the bare function is uh, very important stuff, right? And then, uh, I will mention a little bit. Then, the, you can do the, right now, I'm, I'm kind of working on some, but uh, called the motivate bare function. The motivate bare function is given by, uh, you know, the, because the bare function, if locally the modulus is a greater local to a regular function, then the bare function is given by the Mariano number. You know, so in that is if x is z d f for f defined m to c, and then new x the bare function at the point p is minus one power dimension m one minus the all accuracy of the Mariano fiber of the function, uh, the topology of Mariano fiber. Mirror's small book. And then if we want to do motivic, that means you need to do kind of generalize this mirror fiber stuff to the so-called motivic mirror fiber. Yeah. How, how do you have it? That's a rough idea. Because the motivic mirror uh, lies, uh, lies in the glucentric ring of writings. Or the localization of that. I don't know this part. Uh, there's no. I don't know how to do. Uh, continue to do this theory part because it seems if you don't have environment to support, then you don't know how to do, right? It seems now this here. Then then they can use this to do some alpha beta. And then right now. The main, the main, main stuff for them is to calculate the Wafa Vitin right? Recently, you know, Richard and uh, Amin Gulapu is calculating the Wafa Vitin stuff. I think right now. Yeah. So, if you, uh, I, I think I can stop here. Yeah. 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 Great.